The weather is fabulous today. It's hard to believe it's November next week. It really is. Apart from the wind. But hey, Chilton Hills, there's always wind. Hello again. I'm back in the very pretty little historic town of West Wickham. Oh, I say town, it's a village. Now there's not a lot to West Wickham. It's basically a high street, which you can see here. A very old buildings and a big country estate, West Wickham Park, where they've made a lot of films, including most recently Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And then on top of the hill, there's the Dashwood Mausoleum, the Church of St. Lawrence's, and about halfway up the hill is the entrance to the Hellfire Club Caves, which we explored in a previous video. West Wickham Hill, and you've got a nice view there of the Dashwood family mausoleum up on top of the hill. I had to quickly pop up to the Hellfire Caves as well to return one of their props. <laughs> They're having a bit of fun with this as well, aren't they? Oh my goodness. What larks? Something here called a pumpkin fest. Just looks like a field of pumpkins. An attractive for kids to sit on. Ah, simple things keep people happy. That is the entrance to West Wickham Park, which is closed today. The house is closed and the grounds are closed. But this entrance to it, you've got the long winding drive and uh, it's a beautiful country estate with lots and lots and lots of little follies and grottos and places like that where Sir Francis Dashwood's mates always used to hang out with their young ladies, mm -hmm. including one particular Temple of Venus. There's a nice lake as well. So we're now walking down into the village itself and um, it's very old, very quaint, and uh, it's got some beautiful old buildings. And I'll attempt to capture them as best I can, considering there's a main road that runs right through the middle of it. I shall do my best. Okay, so I'm crossing over the road now, because you get a better view of some of these buildings. The chapel, and the Swan, very old pub, very old pub. And uh, you start to get a sense of how old these buildings are when you see how wobbly the roof lines are and also how low the doors are. I mean, look, I would bang my head going in there and I'm only five foot ten. Because bear in mind that when these were built, the doors were a normal height, but the ground has grown up around them. You know, all the soil and extra, extra layers of road, etc., have all made it. Um, much higher than it used to be. Lovely old uh, traditional butcher shop. That place over there, the Apple Orchard, I'm going to be going there shortly for a cup of tea with my mate, Ali, who you met in the previous video about West Wickham. But in the meantime, we're just going to walk along the high street here, have a look at a few more places. It's a rather grand building, that one, I've always thought. And again, really old sort of 16th century cottages here 16th 17th century and the oldest I believe it's the oldest place in West Wickham is this and this place is absolutely amazing isn't it look at that wonderful and that's the end of the village there's no more to it I'm gonna cross over here and walk up Church Lane a little bit because that's worth doing again look at the age of these timbers just look at them, how marked they are. Gorgeous, aren't they? The reason I say it's worth going up here is because you've got these lovely old cottages here. You've also got the site of the old village water pump, which is just up here. Unless they've moved it, I'm sure they haven't. And what used to be the vicarage. Yeah, that's the old vicarage there, which is a lovely old building. Oh, where's the water pump gone? That's the Dower House. They used to have the old village pump here somewhere. Oh, maybe it's just grown over. That would be a great shame. That's the entrance to the old rectory. 
and uh, yeah, no sign of the pump. Oh well, back down the hill. Do you know what? I walked right past it. There's the entrance again to the old vicarage. And there is the old village pump where everyone in West Wickham used to have to come to get their water. There it is. And in fact, there is an old photograph on the Swap website. Swap is um, it's sort of a pictures of old Wickham website. And there is a picture of the kids around this pump playing on this exact hill. You'll recognize the, uh, the entrance there where people used to come through with the carriages and the horses. And it gets used for quite a lot of village events and village meetings and things. And uh, seems to be a bit of work going on in there at the moment. Yeah, there's lots of woodworking tools and things there. No idea, maybe doing a bit of restoration. Certainly the front of this has all been painted and cleaned in the last couple of years. Now this particular pub, the Georgian Dragon, was another coach house. And again, you can see the big coach entrance here. It's got some beautiful buildings at the back. I'm going to have a wander down the cobbles here and have a look. Look at this, isn't this lovely? If I remember correctly, they've got a dovecot here as well. Yeah, there we are. See, this is the old stable block. And look, up above what used to be the stables there, there's a little dovecot, look, where people used to keep doves. And the reason they kept doves and pigeons, well, once the pigeons had been introduced to Britain, was that uh, it gave them meat during the winter when they couldn't go out and hunt. So let's carry on our little journey up the high street. We're now going to walk back down towards the apple orchard to meet my chum for lunch and uh, walk past the Georgian Dragon again and all those other places you saw. I said it is a huge shame there's a main road go through here. It's one of the few times I think to myself, wouldn't it be nice to build a bypass through the countryside and take it away from this? Saying that, the road gets closed here quite regularly so that they can do filming, putting carts up and down through here because it's such a wonderfully preserved old village. And uh, yeah, all these old coaching inns, there's a lot of them. The thing is, you see, before the days of motorways and the train network, people used to get on a horse or on a horse and cart and travel from London out to places like Oxford and uh, places like High Wycombe, which are about 25 miles from London, were the perfect stop-off points. They were perfect places, coaching inns, where you could have a staging post, where people could have a rest, have a sleep overnight, have a meal, and uh, then carry on the journey the next day. So around here, there's lots of those sort of coaching houses and uh, places where people used to stop. But for now, I'm going into the apple orchard to meet my friend Ali and have a nice cup of tea and maybe a slice of cake. Well, this place, the Apple Orchard, it's a shop as well as a coffee shop. Lots of uh, locally made products. Lots of really nice stuff. It's nice. It's very nice. This place is a bit TARDIS like because every time you think you've come to the last room, um, there's another room. Uh, but I'm heading up to the coffee shop. Uh, talking of TARDISes, the last time I was actually here, I was having a cup of coffee with Colin Baker, who previously was Doctor Who, of course. And we were up the top here in the garden. Here's a photograph of the two of us together. Yeah, I've met Colin more than a few times. He lives out this way. A lovely man. So, yes. And this is the coffee shop and the outside coffee area, which is very nice indeed. Right, here we go. These rooms are all so lovely. And this whole building is lovely, isn't it? That's all right. You just want to end up in the video. <laughs> Right, I've had my coffee. Now heading back to the car. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little tour of uh, West Wickham Village. It's lovely, isn't it? It's really, really pretty. And, uh, well, that's a good name. Mr. Henry Rackstroy. 
What a great name. I must use that in a book one day. Anyway, I'm heading back to my car now and I'm going to head back home. So uh, I'll see you very soon. Toodle bit. And don't forget that our Neo-Pagan Wheel of the Year calendar is now available to pre-order. UK residents simply scan the QR code. Overseas customers email us at copa.artist at gmail.com and we'll try and work out the cheapest way of posting it to you. Thanks very much. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing or click on some of these links to look at some of the other videos on the channel or press the like button or leave a comment. It would be lovely to hear from you. Any combination of those four things would be wonderful. Thank you very much.